Hey guys and welcome back to the last time for Civ 5 as Afghanistan on this map. This is the last episode in this series. I've had a really good time. We're just going to try and take out the remaining Assyrian city here, Babylon, for fun in this last episode. Got a big navy here to help us out a bit. And that will basically complete our control of what is basically the Persian Empire and India. So that'd be cool. And I was thinking about the big wars with Russia and stuff. But there's actually quite a few more big powers. Like it's not just Russia and Egypt we need to worry about. Okay, our thing failed. But we are dominating the World Congress. So that's okay. Stick World's Fair on. I don't know how I didn't get voted in last time. We're getting great people almost every turn now. So that's awesome. Start a golden age. And... We've had a fun campaign, so let's go out with a bang. But, like, China, for example, is now, I believe, a head of Egypt. Maybe not Egypt. Who was it? If you look at the World Factbook thing, World Rankings, China, say, manufactured goods has overtaken Russia, military, Egypt, us, Russia. Poland's actually up there. So China, tech-wise, there. China now second with Russia, one tech behind us, Egypt, 57. The Celts also up there as well. Very surprising. So it's been an interesting campaign, but now Assyria, sorry buddy, but the peace deal's up. You're going down. It is turn 420. So, um, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> yep, very funny. Kind of, I, I wouldn't say it's ironic. That's not the word, but whatever it is. Great war infantry. Oh. <laughs> well, that was easier than anticipated. Stay there. I probably shouldn't move too close. Great general, come in. Okay, this battleship, I believe, has extra range. Yes, it does. So if we can hit Babylon with that one. You can take out... Oh, you can not take out the cannon unit, but there we go. Get rid of their cannon. Frigate can't do anything. No, it can't. Could I switch a battleship in there? Oh, no, that's just a destroyer. Never mind. Got my two remaining great war bombers here. Let's just remove these guys from this citadel oh. okay maybe not not remove them from the citadel I'm just working wealth everywhere now just to make it look that little bit better money wise we've had a really we, we are really strong I mean I think this campaign's been weird where even though we are so big we've not been able to pull away Egypt everyone there are other civs that aren't as big as us but are doing just as well Russia's case I mean they've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13 cities if you include this one over here which you know is nowhere near as many as we have that's under half okay come back there we go next turn so we just did some pretty big damage to the Assyrians should take them out the Ottomans are also pretty strong like if we did any big wars with say Russia that really took away from our military even a nation like the Ottomans could absolutely just steamroll us because everyone's so strong for some reason been an interesting campaign in that reason and I also think Egypt is probably going to soon start to snowball to huge I don't know if Spain had that Carthage city I don't know obviously we can now get a bit better view of this area lots of Ethiopian cities with this city we took in the peace deal Egypt down here the nate oh wait they built one of these things so it's not that bad the nature was not destroyed too much and the workers are leaving now anyway okay a farm has been destroyed by an Assyrian lancer not sure where that is exactly. Don't see any of them in our borders. Unless there was one randomly stuck somewhere. Hmm. Oh no, there's units down here. Damn it. We just have to be careful. We do control most of the South Arabian Peninsula. Obviously, this is just desert that will eventually be built. We made this landmark. But not too much interesting. Come on, Ottomans. Getting the freedom ideology. Good to, to know. But yeah, it's incredible that China's actually caught up really quickly. It's a bit like real life, really, as we go past the year 2000. They've got great war bombers now, China. I'm surprised they haven't taken anyone out, especially this Japanese city. But, you know, they're all friendly. Mongolia, been a disappointment. But, again, the difficulty's been a thing which I've had to think about for my next campaign, which starts tomorrow. Because there's just these on this difficulty, they just can't deal with the barbarians. Oh, no, my great general was killed. Damn it. It doesn't matter, it's fine. Okay. Bam. Bam. I'm not too worried about the units themselves. Okay, they are kind of blocking us. He can walk in there. Let's just see what we can do for a bit of overkill. I know why I attacked the great artist. 
This one is an amazing battleship. Um, okay, attack there. And boom. Wait, limp. God damn it. No way. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> well, guys, we did it. We released Babylon. Yay. <laughs> Fuck. What am I doing? No. Sorry, guys. Huge mistake. But like I said, I make mistakes. I've learnt so much just from this campaign in Civ 5, which is why I'm on what some of the lower difficulties. I'm sure I'll play on high ones soon. If you watch my previous campaign to this one, which was very bad production wise, my new computer's a lot better now. No hopefully it's not as noisy in the background. I mean I was gonna say it isn't, but well, it definitely isn't, but hopefully it's not as noisy. Oh my god, go away. <laughs> Keep spawning. But like I say, I'm gonna improve all the time. With all the feedback you get, you guys have been amazing throughout this campaign. As always, be awesome if you leave a like and subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you in the next campaign.